and welcome back to my channel where today we will be making apple strudel first of all we need to make the pastry uh, and for that I have got three cups of um, flour three cups of flour one packet of vanilla or one teaspoon of vanilla or drop of vanilla essence just to give it a bit flavor uh, one teaspoon or one packet of um, baking powder a pinch of salt I have got um, 125 grams of cold butter just cubed up cinnamon a drop of cinnamon because we will have it in the apple as well i've also got i know it's only small um, lemon but uh the rind of a lemon so just go ahead and just um break your lemon to get that zest in it and one large egg okay now we also going to add two heap spoons of sugar into this and then we're just going to go ahead and mix it all together okay so once you've um, rubbed it in between your fingers like so to get it um, like a crumble effect what we do next is just add little drops of milk, small amount, and just mix it up. We just want to get it so that it all comes together now. Just add in drops of milk until it all comes together. So you add in the milk gradually just so that it all comes together. So about, I don't know, six to eight tablespoons maybe just adding them gradually until it all comes together into one piece of pastry like so just rub it all in so as you can see it's in a freezer bag and put it in the fridge for half an hour for it to rest so get a freezer bag put it in and put it away in the fridge for half an hour so next um, you want to peel and core your apples I have four apples here you can use any um, apples I've got four apples here two red and two um, green apples and all you want to do now is start to peel them core and chop them up so you've peeled your apples you want to um, core them so just um, once you've um, cored your apples what you want to do is um, just split it in half like so and then sli um, slice them thinly like so If they're too big then make two slice in the middle and then just thinly slice them like so. I've um, peeled, cored and sliced your apples like so. Uh, again we're going to put um, vanilla, so a teaspoon of vanilla, a packet of vanilla or a drop of vanilla essence. Um, plenty of um, cinnamon. This is optional, but I have got a um, handful of walnuts that I've um, just cut them up into small pieces. Um, so I want some chopped up walnuts and also some sultanas. There's no um, pips in these. Again, like I said, that's optional. So I like having it. Uh, and then I'm going to put four tablespoons of sugar. 
and then we're just going to go ahead and give this a good mix and leave it to rest for um, half an hour as well and that will bring its juice down rest for half an hour the only other thing we're going to um, need is um, ice and sugar just to dust on top okay so it's been about half an hour um, don't know if you can see but it's all like brings out its juice now if you wanted you could add a drop of brandy or uh, sherry um, you know people do add alcohol if you prefer but I don't this is um, good enough to me so that's our mixture ready our work surface get our pastry from the fridge and what we want to do is um, roll this out to like a rectangle shape so get your rolling pin and start rolling it out until you get um, a rectangle shape don't worry if you get um, slits like this you can quite easily just um, push it over and press them down so don't worry about things like this okay so you just get a rectangle shape going a rectangle shape and just get your rolling pin over. This would help it pick it up. And then just get your tin. You can either grease your tin or put one of these linos on. And then what you want to do is get your pastry back on it. Like so. Just want to hatch up half. And then what you want to do next is get your filling and put it right in the middle, in the centre. generously in the middle what to do is lift one side and flick it over and then do the same on the other side just get your flick it over And then what we want to do is seal the edges. So you just want to seal your edges. And now this is ready to go into the oven at 175 degrees um, for about half hour or so until it gets all brown and cooked. So preheat your oven, 175 degrees, and let's cook it. Um, apple strudel is done. So we can just add, um, just dust it over with um, ice and sugar. Sometimes I would divide my pastry into two and make two um, out of this rather than one large one. So you could always do that. This will bit off first of all. There we are. Now, handful strudel. Full of apples, sultanas and walnuts. Really tasty to eat it this way. Uh, 
let's go for the taste. Really um, crumbly on the outside and smooth on the inside. You can have a knob of ice cream next to it. That's delicious. So that's one way of eating it. But the best way to eat it is with lovely ice um, hot custard with it apple strudel with custard delicious go simple way of making apple strudel really tasty full of fragrance um, with your cinnamon um, it's delicious mm. apple strudel thanks for watching until next time take care be safe